Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about the best trove mods that you can use. I've been getting heavily requested on, you know, just making this video. I've done one in the past, so there is that video if you do want to check it out, but it's a little bit outdated. There are better ones, kinda. You can still use that other one. Some are outdated, so you gotta keep that in mind, but I guess I'll just go over some of the best ones. I'll also link you a bunch of things in the description so you can check that out as well. Uh, in advance, I do want to apologize to all of you console people. Uh, you can check out the video like, like if you want to in case you ever switch over to PC or uh, I don't know if you just enjoy my content. But yeah, I do apologize to you console people. M maybe one day, right? One day. But you guys get the point. We have mods here and uh, I just want to share the best ones with you guys. And the only thing I'm going to say is you can feel free to download whichever one you want to or you can download all of them. Just know that if you ever get this thing here, like my dark UI mod, there's an exclamation point right over here. If you ever get that, it's conflicting with another mod. So you're going to have to disable something. So just kind of figure that out. And then you have to reset your game. Like just exit game and then reopen it to you know fix it because if i just go over here and disable this one for example it's not gonna like save i just have to like, restart my game so hopefully that makes sense another thing that i want to talk about is i can actually change some of the settings for my mods so i don't know if you guys are interested in this but it is pretty cool you can go over to your settings mod settings and then uh symbols chat mod this has a bunch of configurations you can do and kind of mess around with that save it and then as well as other stuff that you can do it you don't have to do all of these but you can just do some of them or whatever you really want to but anyway let's just jump right in all right so i will be sharing you guys a couple links here so this is trovetools.net this is what i use to get my mods so as you can see it's a little bit different than what it looks like here i'll show you in a second or i guess uh, later on in the video but you can literally search up any mod that you want to install it right there it'll go right to your folder you don't have to worry about anything all you have to do is manually update the mods i'll show you how to do that as well because sometimes it will get outdated and you have to you know go in and manually update them it's not the end of the world but uh whenever there's like a big update for trove sometimes things change and so you just gotta do that or the mod maker adds a couple things here and there so you just gotta update it next up shout outs to kazer for allowing me to use this link he gave this to me a long time ago when i first started trove i just downloaded everything he gave me i didn't even know what they did but i just went with it and then as i got better with the game i kind of understood it and then i just kind of got rid of the things that I didn't really want to use. So if you play on Steam, feel free to subscribe to any of the ones that you feel like you really want to use. And if you want to figure out how to actually subscribe to these mods and have it on your trove, if you're not sure how all of that works, I'll show you how to do this on Steam. So when you open up Steam here, you just want to go to Communities Workshop. It'll take you to this little page here. All you're going to do is type in trove and trove will pop up right there. Just search for it. And as you can see, we have Trove here. As long as you're signed in, yo, anime loading screen. That's the most popular, apparently. But anyway, uh, you have stuff here. You know, if, if you do want the anime, I'm just going to click on that for research purposes. And as you can see, there's the subscribe button. You just hit that. It goes straight to your Trove. You just have to reset the game. And uh, yeah, it's there. And speaking of subscribe, my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like, greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's just close Steam for now. Now let's move over to TroveTools.net. Let's just say you downloaded this from the link that I gave you. This is what it looks like. These are my mods. If I manually put a mod into the mods folder, you can actually just open it up. But uh, if I just put one manually in here, it's not actually going to show up here. This is just whatever you get from the get more mods here but like i mentioned earlier this says installed up to date so if it ever says you need to update it i just do update all it updates all of your mods you're gonna have to update these manually i think there's a setting where you can automatically do this but i i don't know how that works i just kind of use this i don't really have this open you don't have to have this open when you play trove you just have to get the mods and you can just close this if you do close this however it's gonna appear in your like uh, down here type thing you can just close that if you really want to i don't have this open when i play but if i ever need to update a mod or get a mod then i'll just go over here and find it but anyway you guys get the point and then i'll just show you get more mods so if you want to find a mod so let's just go with the symbols chat mod as you can see you find it there you hit install i already have it installed but let's go to like a complicated one so let's just do this one for example so a friend of mine made this mod i have this mod but i didn't get it from uh this in particular i just got it from the website manually so you can actually click on this and it'll just take you straight to the website so you can obviously download it but for this mod in particular if you check out the uh, description for the mod you're gonna have to download an additional file and it tells you where to put the file so mod cfgs are another thing that i'm going to be talking about in a second second here this one in particular you have to download this one you can do it from the thing as well but uh, just download it put it into your mods folder wherever you play trove and then additionally you have to download this here and put it in your mod cfg file and the thing with mod cfg files is you have to make sure the files are the exact name i'm pretty sure i don't know if the actual mod itself has to do that as well but i know for sure the mod cfg ones have to be 
the way it is. And if you don't have this folder, you can create it. I'm pretty sure everyone comes with it, but yeah, if not, just uh, create it. Just make sure to go to the right location. You can just type this into your search bar and uh, yeah, you're good to go there. This mod has some pretty cool features. So if you do download it, you can use the friends thing. You can just join invite, but you can't use the features. So you have to get the CFG if you want to use the features for this one in particular. And some other mods are like that as well. So I wanted to bring up that information with you guys just so you guys understand. Lastly, we have the mods folder here that I will be linking to you guys. So you can download all of these if you want to. But the only issue with this is that some might be outdated and you won't really be able to update these mods if you just drag these into your mods folder. So I would just recommend finding this in either trovetools.net or Steam. The name is going to be very similar or if not exactly the same by this. Just make sure to find the exact mod maker. And yeah, these are the mods and then I have the CFG files as well. Just make sure the name is exactly how it's supposed to be. If it's not the way it's supposed to be, the mods just not going to work at all. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about with the mods. Just make sure you want to get the mods that you actually want. You don't have to get the ones I have. Like if you don't want this, just just don't get it. And as far as finding the right folders, like the CFG one, for example, just type in your uh, search bar uh, percent app data percent and then find Trove and then find the mod CFG file, just like the IU friends example I showed you. And for whatever reason, if the folder isn't there, just create it with that exact name. Capitalizations do matter, but I'm pretty sure it should be there. I actually don't know. And then if you do want to figure out where your mods folder is, if you're playing the game on Steam, open your file location from Steam, just like find your Steam folder. And then from Steam's, you can go to common Steam apps, stuff like that, find Trove. And then uh, if you go to games and live, it should be games, Trove, live server, or something like that and then you'll see the mods folder just double click mods and you can just put it there and then if you're using the glyph launcher you can just right click it properties open file location same thing with steam really just find trove go to games live like i mentioned before and then mods and the last thing i'm going to mention is your mods are going to be a dot t mod file and your cfgs are going to be a dot cfg file so hopefully you guys understand all of that hopefully everything makes sense to you if you have any questions drop something down in the comments down below hopefully this answered all of your questions hopefully this helps all of you guys out i'm sorry about all of you console people but we'll be back with episode two of my new series soon i'll try to find a time to upload that but in the meantime hopefully you guys enjoyed this one drop a like subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and i will see you all later out of here.